Yeah, listen, hey, uh, congratulations to Michigan. It's a hard-fought game. Um, you know, they just uh, made a couple of plays when they had to. We made a run to come back and, um, you know, got it down to two. And, you know, I thought, I thought we had a great chance to win, but they, you know, they made, they made a couple of big plays late too. And, uh, you know, they were able to hurt us a little bit inside most of the game. And, uh, you know, we, you know, we battled back. I mean, we get, we're a resilient team. Uh, we're a great team, but, you know, give them credit tonight. And, uh, with that being said, uh, like I told our players, uh, before the night, we're 26 and three. We haven't lost. I don't. I can't remember the last time we lost. We went undefeated in February. Uh, these guys have given Northwestern everything they have. So it's a great season, and you know, for us, uh, a lot of basketball left. Hopefully, and to play in the NCAA tournament coming up, to be. Big Ten Conference champions in a regular season, uh, ranked in the top 20, a lot of great things. But more importantly, uh, is in the, you know 10 days from now or 12 days from now, whenever we play next, uh, you, you know you'll see a great team out there. I have no doubt about that. Coach, I'll ask you the same question I asked them uh, last year. Sort of a similar situation, sort of different, obviously, but really tough loss in that first round, Michigan State. Uh, gave you guys a thump, and, and then you come back in the WNIT, make the big run. What lessons can you take from that and, you know, from similar situations in the past to put them into play this year? Um, you know, I think, I think that was a great, uh, I think, growth, growth spurt for us last March to play in April, you know, when you know, most of college basketball is watching. Um, so I think, I think they also understood our team. We have, we have almost everybody back from that team. You know, obviously we missed Palace, but... Um, the goal, the goal was to use that, propel us to the NCAA tournament this year, and I think I think it helped us, and I think they've done a great job of, look, you know, that experience going to make us better. Uh, now everything's out there for us, you know, the, the, everything opens up for us, you know, over the next two weeks. So, you know, we want to. I think they understand that, and you know, I certainly understand it, but I think that experience helped us. Back row. Coach, obviously been a roller coaster last week or so. You know, a week ago you're preparing to win your first Big Ten title, regular season title in 30 years. Tough loss today. How do you kind of put both of those, both of those things behind you and try to achieve your ultimate goal? Yeah, I, I thought, um, uh, you know, again, like I said, I give, you know, Michigan's a really good team. Uh, we'd already, Jordan, had, we had beaten them twice, come from behind at Michigan in a great game. And, you know, we knew, we knew it was going to be a battle. Um, but I think, you know, our players, the, the biggest thing we talk about, look, I, you, know, you came here to play in the NCAA tournament. That's why I recruited you. Yeah, that's why you came to Northwestern. That's why we built Welsh Ryan Arena and Trinans. And, you know, to say we're Big Ten champs, all those things, I think we got to uh, now take advantage of uh, over the next couple of weeks. But, uh, you know, I, I've been in a lot of NCAA tournaments, and nobody on this team has played in any. So, you know, I'm going to have to use my experiences too, and just get them ready. But we'll we'll be ready. This team, this team, given ten days of rest, uh, I wouldn't want to play us. In front, um, coach. Kind of going back to Michigan being a good team. You've beaten them in two close come from behind victories this year. Kind of how did you prepare for this game here with the postseason ramifications, also the return of Nas Hillman? Well, I think the biggest thing was, you know. Uh, they, they made some threes that, you know, I give Maddie Nolan a lot of credit, hit big shots. Uh, you know, they banked one in. I think we were down two. We cut it to two. They came down and banked one in at the end of the shot clock. Uh, so you got to give them credit, you know. But I think we were ready to play tonight. It wasn't any, you know, Michigan's a good team. But, uh, you know, we use this as a way to say, look, uh, how does this help us going into the first round of the NCAA tournament? You've talked before about how you need Lindsey Pulling to take a lot of shots. Can you talk about, I mean, the last two games, Michigan has been able to effectively limit her. Can you talk about how that affects your offense and what, and how you can use lessons from that moving forward? Well, it was a physical game. You know, it was a really physical game tonight. And, um, you know, I thought she got good looks at times. Uh, she's a great player, man. She had 32 against Michigan at Welsh Ryan. Uh, She's capable of dropping 32 on somebody in March. That's why I brought her here. So, uh, you know, 
again. She, she is the heart and soul of our team from the standpoint of an emotional leader, a captain, and, you know, uh, she played her heart out tonight. And she's the focal point of everybody's defense, you know, not just Michigan. Coach, I saw you take uh, Sydney and Veronica kind of under your arm post game as you walked off the floor. Can you share a little bit of what your message was to them and really your entire team after a loss like this? Well, I, I you know, um, you know, Sydney was fighting off some injuries tonight, and uh, you know, had had a rough night, and we had to hold her out for a while. But Sydney Wood and Veronica Burton have had this incredible chemistry together in this incredible year. Uh, it, it, and so I just wanted to let them know how much I appreciate them. And now they're juniors, you know, now he's playing the NCAA tournament, even though you're a sophomore, you really, you know, you get another year. So it's, it's like a new season. And same thing with our team. I mean, nothing, you know, nothing that, uh, I, I, you know, just, everybody's a little down right now because they fought hard. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll move on. But those two, I, I think, laid laid out every ounce of blood they had all year. And I was just really proud of both of them. Just wanted them to know. Coach Veronica talked about how you guys just didn't do the little things, especially in that second half. Um, what do you think was the cause of that in this game in particular? Well, we left we left them. Uh, you know, we we tried to take away their inside game defensively. Uh, and they hit some big threes. You know, they hit they hit that stretch. They hit three threes in a row. I want to say, I don't have a running box yet, but um, you know, it just were you would tie game. We'd score. They'd score. It was going back and forth, and then they they got up six or eight, and uh, it was more. They made tough shots, and a couple times we had some breakdowns where we left them open. Um, so you know, I give them credit too. Nolan made tough shots. Uh, Johnson made a tough three. I think. Uh, Haley Brown made a, made a three in that stretch, and they they were you know they were just backbreakers when they made them because we we just come down maybe scored, and um, you know as you guys mentioned too you know we, you got to make free throws in these games you got to make layups you know and uh, we did that all year that's why we were Big Ten champions. Let's do one more for Coach, please. Um, Coach, you spoke about Michigan being able to make those tough threes um, tonight. The Wolverines were able to limit Abby Scheid, who leads the nation in three points. The who? I'm sorry. The, who? Uh, the Wolver Michigan was able to limit oh. Scheid. Um, I think she only had one or two threes tonight. Kind of how are you going to take those abilities and the lack of threes that you guys made tonight and try to get more from behind the arc down the road? Yeah, I mean they made seven threes. We made three in, in, a, in a game that was you know two point game under a minute. So uh, threes, we hit ten against Rutgers. You know we're 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 streaky. And sometimes we're great. Uh, Abby Scheid is the number one three-point shooter in the country. So again, we're, we're, she was where she is. I don't know. I don't statistically, but um, she has just carried us all year, making big shots. She scored five straight points tonight to to give us a chance to win the game. And uh, she'll be back. You know, she'll. I, I think, you know, when you get out of your league now in, into the NCAA tournament, uh, you know, you play against you know. You, Tonight we played against a team just like they did that kind of knows all your plays, kind of plays you a certain way. We did, the, you know. So it'll, it'll be good to play outside the league a little bit too. But, you know, great respect for the Big Ten. And Abby Scheid, man, what a year. You know, my God, senior. And for her to be 26 and 4, ranked top, I don't know what we are, 11, 12th in the country. And, you know, you're going to play, you're going to play in March. I mean, I, I'm really proud of her. And uh, she's going to light somebody up in, in March.